Welcome to StoryWise Nonfiction Article Level 2. Make sure to stay until the end of the video for vocabulary explanations. You can also find the vocabulary list in the video's description. European Bison Welcome to the extraordinary story of the European Bison, a tale of near extinction and remarkable recovery. The European Bison, also known as the Wisent or the European Wood Bison, is the heaviest land animal in Europe. But this wasn't always something to celebrate. In fact, less than a century ago, this majestic creature was on the brink of disappearing forever. In the 1920s, these large and powerful animals had been hunted so much that they had become extinct in the wild. The only ones left were those kept in zoos in Eastern Europe. But today, thanks to successful conservation efforts, over 6,000 European bison roam freely in the woodlands of Poland, Belarus, and Russia. This wonderful success story is not just about one species. It is also a testament to the power of dedicated people working together to protect our planet's biodiversity. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, has played a significant role in the bison's recovery. The IUCN was established in 1948, and since then, it has been collecting information on at least 130,000 animals and plants from around the world. Its main aim is to identify and protect species that are threatened with extinction. The IUCN is most known for its Red List. The Red List is like a warning light. When a species is put on the Red List, it means it is threatened, and there's a risk that it could die out completely. This list is important because it helps conservationists focus their efforts on the species that need help the most. But the red list isn't just about bad news. The IUCN also likes to share success stories, stories of animals and plants that are doing well and increasing in numbers. These are cases where species have been so successful in their recovery that they are moving off the red list. The European bison is one such success story. As of December 10th, according to the IUCN, these animals are no longer likely to become extinct. We will dive deeper into the remarkable journey of the European bison from its hybrid ancestry and its near extinction to its successful recovery and the exciting plans for its future. Stay with us as we explore this fascinating story, which is not just about the bison but about our shared commitment to preserving the beautiful diversity of life on our planet. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, is an international organization. It started its work in 1948. Its job is to collect information about different animals and plants. There are at least 130,000 types of animals and plants that they have information about. One of the most important things that the IUCN does is to keep the red list. This list is very special. It is like a big book that has all the names of animals and plants that are in danger. These are called threatened species. When a name goes in this list, it means there is a risk that this animal or plant could disappear forever. This is a very serious situation. The IUCN updates the red list quite often. They keep looking at all the animals and plants in the world and they see if they are safe or not. If they find that an animal or plant is not safe anymore, they add it to the red list. But the red list is not just about danger. The IUCN also likes to share happy news. They call these success stories. These stories talk about animals and plants that are doing well and increasing in numbers. Sometimes, they do so well that they can be removed from the red list. This is a big achievement, and it means that these animals and plants are no longer threatened. 
On December 10th, the IUCN announced a good news story. They said that the numbers of European bison have increased. These big animals are no longer in danger of becoming extinct. This means that they are safe for now, and we do not have to worry about them disappearing. This is a very special moment for everyone who loves nature and wants to protect it. It shows us that if we work hard and care for the environment, we can make a difference. We can help to protect and increase the numbers of animals and plants that are in danger. The European bison's recovery is a great example of this. Thanks to the work of many people in different countries, this majestic animal is now safe. There are now over 6,000 European bison living in the wild, in places like Poland, Belarus, and Russia. This is a huge change from the 1920s, when they had almost disappeared. The European bison, also known as the Wisent or the European wood bison, is a very big animal. It is, in fact, the heaviest land animal in Europe. It is strong and powerful, and it can be quite amazing to see one in the wild. By the 1920s, the situation for the European bison was very sad. People had been hunting the bison for many years, and because of this, the bison had disappeared from the wild. The only bison left were those in zoos in Eastern Europe. It looked like the European bison could be lost forever. However, after the end of the Second World War in 1945, people started to take action. They realized that they had to do something to save the European bison. They decided to set up a breeding program in Poland. A breeding program is a special project where people tried to help an animal increase its numbers. They do this by carefully looking after the animals and making sure they have babies. The breeding program for the European bison was very successful. Little by little, the number of bison started to increase. First, there were just a few bison, but then there were dozens, then hundreds, and then thousands. Now, there are over 6,000 European bison living in herds in Poland. Belarus, and Russia. Many of them live in a large, beautiful woodland that is on either side of the Polish-Belarusian border. This is a great place for the bison, as it gives them lots of space and plenty of food to eat. Thanks to the hard work of many people, the European bison has made a fantastic recovery. From being almost extinct in the 1920s, it is now a thriving species. This is a great example of what can be achieved when people work together to protect nature and wildlife. The story of the European bison is a happy one. It is a story of hope and success. Today, the situation for the European bison is much better than it was in the 1920s. There are now over 6,000 European bison living in the wild. This is a big number, especially when we remember that there were almost none left in the 1920s. The bison have been able to increase their numbers thanks to the hard work of many people. These people cared about the bison and wanted to help them. The European bison can be found in three countries, Poland, Belarus, and Russia. In these countries, they live in herds. A herd is a large group of animals that live together. This is the natural way for bison to live. In a herd, they can look after each other and protect each other from danger. In Poland and Belarus, many of the bison live in a large area of woodland. This woodland is ancient, which means it has been there for a very long time. It is a perfect place for the bison. It gives them lots of space to move around, and there is plenty of food for them to eat. In Russia, the bison also live in areas where there are many trees. These areas are similar to the woodland in Poland and Belarus. They provide the bison with everything they need to live 
and grows strong. The people in these countries are very proud of their bison. They understand that the bison are special and that they must be protected. They work hard to make sure that the bison can live safely and peacefully. The story of the European bison is a great example of what can be achieved when people care about wildlife. By working together and never giving up, they were able to save the bison from extinction. Today, we can all enjoy the sight of these magnificent animals living freely in the wild. One of the most interesting things about the European bison is its history. It is a story that goes back thousands of years. Scientists have studied this history to learn more about the bison and where it came from. First, let's talk about an animal called the steppe bison. This was a different kind of bison that lived a long time ago. It lived in Europe, Russia, and North America during a time called the Ice Age. The Ice Age was a period when the weather was very cold, and there were many large sheets of ice. The steppe bison disappeared before the European bison appeared. They did not live at the same time. Scientists wanted to learn more about the European bison's past. They decided to study the bison's DNA. DNA is like a blueprint or a set of instructions that can tell us about an animal's history. Scientists can learn a lot from studying an animal's DNA. When the scientists studied the European bison's DNA, they made a surprising discovery. They found that the bison is related to cows. This was a mystery at first. How could a bison be related to a cow? To solve this mystery, the scientists looked at some very old bones. These bones were found inside caves in Europe. They belonged to the steppe bison and to another animal called the aurochs. The aurochs was a kind of giant cow that lived many years ago. It is the ancestor of the cows we know today. Sadly, the aurochs is now extinct, which means there are no more aurochs left. The last one is thought to have died in Poland about 400 years ago. After looking at the DNA from the old bones, the scientists discovered something amazing. Some steppe bison had mated with aurochs about 120,000 years ago. This means that they had babies together. These babies were a mix of bison and cow. They were hybrid animals. The hybrid animals, which the scientists jokingly called the Higgs bison, were a kind of cow bison. They survived for tens of thousands of years. This is unusual because most hybrid animals do not survive for a long time. Over many years, the cow bison slowly evolved, or changed, into the European bison we know today. But the scientists still had one question. What did the cow bison look like? They had never found any skulls, so they didn't know. They asked a group of experts who study old paintings found in caves. These experts had been trying to solve a similar mystery. They noticed that not all of the bison in the cave paintings looked the same. After listening to the scientists' findings, the cave painting experts had the answer. There were two different kinds of bison in the paintings. One was the steppe bison, and the other was the cow-like hybrid. Our story of the European bison gets even more interesting when we talk about a special hybrid animal known as the Higgs bison. This name may sound a bit funny, and that's because the scientists who discovered this animal thought it would be fun to name it after a tiny particle called the Higgs boson, which was discovered around the same time. The Higgs bison was a special kind of animal. It was a hybrid which means it was a mix of two different animals. These two animals were the steppe bison and the aurochs. As we have recently learned, the aurochs was a type of giant cow and the steppe bison was a type of bison that lived during the Ice Age. When some steppe bison and aurochs had babies together, 
These babies were either bison nor cow. They were a mix of both. These mixed babies were the Higgs bison. But here's something strange and fascinating. The Higgs bison didn't just live for a short time. Instead, it lived for tens of thousands of years. This is unusual because most hybrid animals do not live for such a long time. They usually disappear after a few generations. Over all these years, the Higgs bison slowly changed. This process is called evolution. It's like a very slow transformation that happens over a long time. Through evolution, the Higgs bison eventually became the European bison. So, does that mean we have Higgs bison today? No, we don't. The Higgs bison evolved into the European bison, which is the animal we have today. There is one mystery about the Higgs bison that scientists are still trying to solve. Even though they know a lot about this animal from studying DNA, they have never found a skull of a Higgs bison. A skull is the part of an animal's skeleton that makes up its head. Without a skull, it is hard to know exactly what the Higgs bison looked like. However, the scientists have some ideas. They talk to some experts who study old paintings found in caves. These paintings are very old. Some are even 20,000 years old. Some of the bison in these paintings look a bit different from others. The scientists think that these different-looking bison could be the Higgs bison. While there is still a lot we don't know about the Higgs bison, scientists have learned a lot from studying its DNA. The story of the Higgs bison helps us to understand the history of the European bison. This is an important part of protecting the European bison today. Sometimes the past leaves us puzzles that take years, or even centuries, to solve. One such puzzle was hiding in the ancient cave paintings of Europe. These old paintings show many different animals, including bison. But something about these bison puzzled the people who study these paintings. When they looked closely at the paintings, they noticed that not all the bison looked the same. Some looked a bit different. They wondered why. Could there have been two different types of bison? Or maybe some artists didn't draw as well as others? As these experts looked at the paintings, they couldn't find the answer. The mystery stayed unsolved until some new information came to light. Remember our friends, the scientists who study bison DNA? They had discovered something incredible. They found out that the European bison is a descendant of the Higgs bison, which was a hybrid animal, a mix of steppe bison and aurochs. So, when the scientists heard about the puzzle of the cave paintings, they had an idea. They thought maybe the two different types of bison in the paintings were actually two different animals. One could be the steppe bison and the other could be the Higgs bison. When they compared the DNA information with the paintings, their idea made a lot of sense. It seemed that the ancient artists were not bad at drawing. They were drawing two different animals. The ancient artists were showing both the steppe bison and the hybrid Higgs bison in their paintings. This was a very exciting discovery. It was as if the ancient artists had left a message about the past, and it took thousands of years for us to understand it. This discovery helped the scientists understand the history of the European bison even better. The cave paintings gave them a glimpse of what the Higgs bison might have looked like, even without a skull. The story of the European bison is not just about science and DNA. It's also about art and history. The ancient cave paintings have become an important piece of the puzzle in understanding the past of the European bison. After the Second World War, a breeding program was started to increase the number of European bison. This program has been very successful. Now, there are over 6,000 European bison, 
mostly in Poland, Belarus, and Russia. But the plan is to spread these animals to more places. Several countries in Europe are starting to reintroduce small groups of European bison into their countries. Reintroducing an animal into a new place is a big job. First, the animals need to be moved from the place where they live now to their new home. This is usually done with big trucks or airplanes. Then, when they get to their new home, they need to stay in a large area that is closed off from the outside. This is so they can get used to their new home before they are let out into the wild. After some time, when the bison are ready, they are set free. This means they can roam around in the wild just like their ancestors did many years ago. This is a big moment for the bison, but also for the people who have worked so hard to bring them back. One country that is planning to reintroduce the European bison is Britain. This is a special case because it has been 6,000 years since the last European bison was seen in the wild in Britain. So, when the new bison arrive, it will be a very special moment. The plan is to bring the bison to Britain in the year 2022. The bison will come from Poland where there are many bison thanks to the successful breeding program. Reintroducing the European bison to many different places is an important step for these animals. It will help them to survive in the future, and it will also bring joy to many people who will get to see these amazing animals in the wild. It's a great example of how people can work together to help animals and nature. We have come to the end of our journey with the European bison. We have followed their path from their nearly lost history to their remarkable recovery. The story of the European bison is an important lesson for all of us. It teaches us about the power of nature and the importance of our role in helping to protect it. At one time, the European bison was nearly lost forever. In the 1920s, they had been hunted to the point of extinction. The only ones left were in zoos in Eastern Europe. This could have been the end of their story. But instead, people decided to make a change. After the Second World War, a breeding program was started. This program was very successful. From a handful of bison in zoos, the population grew to over 6,000 bison living in the wild. Now, the European bison is no longer at risk of dying out. This is a huge victory for conservation efforts. But the story of the European bison is not just about numbers. It's also about the journey these animals have taken. They have gone from being hunted to the point of extinction, to being bred in zoos, to being reintroduced into the wild. Their story is a symbol of hope and resilience. Now, the European bison are returning to places where they have not been seen for thousands of years. This is a cause for celebration. But it is also a reminder. It reminds us of the importance of protecting nature and the creatures that live in it. The story of the European bison also shows us the importance of the work done by organizations like the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN. Their efforts in keeping track of endangered species and their recovery stories are essential. They help us understand the situation of these species and guide us in making effective conservation decisions. The remarkable recovery of the European bison is a great success story. But there are still many other animals that are in danger. We must continue to work hard to help them. We must learn from the story of the European bison and use this knowledge to protect all of nature's creatures. The following vocabulary can also be found in the video's description. Extinct. When a type of animal or plant no longer exists anywhere in the world. Conservation. The protection of the natural environment. 
biodiversity, the variety of different types of life found on the earth, and the variations within species. Majestic. Something very beautiful and impressive. Testament. Something that serves as a sign or evidence of a specified fact or event. Threatened. At risk or in danger of being harmed or destroyed. Species. A group of living organisms consisting of similar individuals capable of exchanging genes or interbreeding. Recovery. The process of becoming well again after an illness, injury, or period of decline. Roam. To move about or travel aimlessly or unsystematically, especially over a large area. Hybrid. A thing made by combining two different elements. In the context of animals, an offspring of two animals of different species. Ancestry. One's family or ethnic descent. Herd. A large group of animals that live, travel, or feed together. Woodland. An area of land covered with trees. Ancient. Something that has existed for a very long time. Magnificent. Very beautiful and impressive. DNA. A material that carries information about how a living thing will look and function. It is in all living things. Blueprint. A detailed plan or program of action. Ancestor. A person, animal, or plant related to one that lived in the past. Evolve. To gradually change and develop over a period of time. Skull. The bone structure forming the head of a skeleton. Generations. All of the people born and living about the same time. Here it refers to the different cycles of offspring in a species. Cave paintings. Drawings and paintings made on the walls and ceilings of caves by prehistoric people. Puzzles. Problems or enigmas that test one's ingenuity for their solution. Descendant. A person, plant, or animal that is descended from a particular ancestor. Reintroduce. To bring a species back to its native habitat from which it has disappeared. Ancestors. A person, typically one more remote than a grandparent, from whom one is descended. Remarkable. Worthy of attention. Striking. Extinction. The state or process of a species, family, or larger group being or becoming extinct. Endangered. Seriously at risk of extinction. Resilience. The capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Toughness. Ingenuity. The quality of being clever, original, and inventive. Breeding program. A plan mating of specific animals with specific desirable traits to produce offspring with the same traits.